Welcome back YouTube. Here we are standing in front of the trusty old C300 today. <clears throat> uh, it's a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. Um, you probably see lots of new cars driving around with their super bright white LED headlights that are blinding everybody. Um, and you want to blind them back as well, but you have the old, you know, halogen or whatever the heck bulbs are in these cars. And so you go buy some LED bulbs, throw them in, and they don't work. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little quick video because that's what happened to me. They didn't work, and I figured out, you know, you have to buy certain bulbs. Um, so I do a quick little video here how to upgrade your LED, your headlights to LED. <laughs> Um, without buying three different sets of bulbs like I did. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, so here's my progression. When I first uh, wanted to upgrade my headlights, this is, you know, what I had in my car. This is one good bulb left. The reason I wanted to upgrade is because my bulbs kept burning out. You know, I know I don't touch them when I buy new ones, I put them in, and they last like a year, and they burn out. Or at least one of them burns out, and then you go to buy all new ones. So, um, I mean, I could buy one new one, but I always replace them all. So anyhow, the original bulbs um, burn out too quick. This is what I have. They're H7 bulbs. Probably all the C300s for, through all the years probably use these H7 bulbs see can you see h7 h7 bulbs so my first my first order from amazon was these auto one led light which are still available from amazon um i forget what i paid for them hang on let me go check my amazon account and see what i paid for all this stuff okay so here's the deal Paid thirty dollars for these Auto One LED lights, which you can still get on Amazon. And this is what you get: you get a bulb just like this, LED bulb, super bright, just like you see everyone else blinding people. You can too blind people. However, the CAN bus on the Mercedes doesn't recognize these bulbs, so they'll they'll just randomly turn off on you. You'll be driving down the road and your headlights will turn off. Um, they kind of go off on, off for like 10 seconds, on for like 10 seconds, or for a while. So so I think they did that originally. They went off for 10 seconds, on for 10 seconds, off for 10, so obviously they're useless. So I um, emailed the customer, or emailed the company, and uh, said that they don't work in my car, they flash. And so they, for free, they sent me these. And I think these are basically just a big old power resistor to make these things draw up more current so that the CAN bus, the computer in the Mercedes, thinks that there's one of these bulbs in there instead of an LED that doesn't draw any current, very little current. So that's my guess. I don't really know what's in these, but um, that's what I'm thinking. So I, you know, plug these. You take the bulb plug this on here and plug this in where your bulb goes and they did work differently and that's whenever I think they started they would stay on for a little bit one of them stayed on like what seemed like forever the other one would still flicker um, then I thought they were both staying on and I took it to work one day and halfway to work my headlights turned off on me um, so they still flicker with these. It didn't. They don't work. So don't waste your money. Thirty bucks. Um, actually, I think when I told them they don't work and they didn't work without it, they they may have refunded me, even for these, and said just keep them. So there they are, useless. Um, anyhow, so yeah, don't waste your money, your time with these. They don't work uh, for the Mercedes CAN bus. And then so after these didn't work, I almost gave up and just you know, got the regular bulbs again, but I'm like, oh, let me look around some more. And so I found these, Bivinci LED headlight kit. And so this is what I got with this kit. It's also H7 is like the style of bulb that 
fits in the car in the connector and so if you buy these um, which you can't buy these because I looked recently and you can't find them anymore they're no longer available um, so I bought these a year ago and one of them just recently burnt out already so um, yeah so um, these were pretty cool they looked fancy you know they come with the um, I don't know what they call this they call it like a converter or something I don't know they come with this already installed on them you can plug them right into your headlights your headlight thing they plug directly into the car very easy um, but you know one of them burnt out in one year and so what I did was I tore this apart I forget which one which one feels lighter this one to see why it wasn't working because obviously the LED bulb didn't burn out in one year um, this something on this so I tore it apart the circuit board in there uh, has a cold solder joint somewhere it's tiny little surface mount parts that I don't really have the equipment to fix uh, um, so I did get it work and you could tweak the board in there you tweak that circuit board in there this will it'll turn on and work and I actually thought I had it working again I thought I soldered the spot that wasn't that was causing it to stop working and I put it in my car and uh, you know within a few minutes it went out again so there's a cold solder joint or there's something on the circuit board that's as soon as it heats up it quits working so um, so yeah these uh, only lasted a year so I would say you know no better than these except they are nice and bright white you can see really good with them um, but it did it did you know burn out in a year with the, the circuit board in it burnt out so then I recently when that burnt out I bought the I was gonna buy one more of these but uh, they're no longer available on Amazon so uh, I went with this for sure which actually when you see it yeah it's foreign um, and it said it works with all cars and it did I plugged it into my car and these ones work good they're not in here they're in my car right now so let me just show you the box but it's the same deal they come just like these let's go take a look at the car and see what we got okay so there's the headlight on the back side of the headlight you have the low beam you have these covers right here this one's for the low beam this one's for the high beam right here and so what you do is you just turn uh, turn it it comes right off and you have the, this bulb in here and so these bulbs they just you twist them and, and they pull right out like this see there's the bulb and here's the uh, converter thing and there's how it plugs on to your existing wires just like that so um, there's this adapter that comes with the bulbs which I'm going to show you here in a second this adapter ring right here and it just gets held in you know it's it just like this yeah, do it so you can see see it's got a pin that fits in one spot like that and this is just a spring loaded thing it clips down and it clips on over here on, onto these just like that once that's clipped on um, I've been just shoving all of this there's tons of room in there on this car so I've been just shoving all that stuff off to the side and then the bulb goes in try to look through the camera I can't. Uh, the bulb goes in like that um, and you turn it until it goes in there turn it till it goes in and then you on, I got my wires bunched up there turn it till it goes in and then rotate it to lock it in oh okay that's right this one 
The last one had a positive stop. You rotated it till it stopped, and that was it. This one will rotate forever. Every 180 degrees, it'll it'll pop back out. So I rotate it till it's you know like that. Um, there is a way to have the bulb. I think you need, you want the bulb, the LEDs shining left and right. I don't know if I can even tell. Let me see which way the LEDs are. So you want it like this. So the can you even see? so the LED is shining left and right, uh, as opposed to up and down like that. So if I put it in right now, yeah, right now it's left and right, and then I rotate it. Yeah, so I rotate it about 90 degrees and then back to where the LED bulbs are going to be shining left and right. And I don't know how much difference it makes in this car because of the way these headlights are. There's so much diffusion there that regardless of how them things are shining the light, it's all diffused and coming out the same way. Anyhow, I've rotated them before and I couldn't really tell a difference. So, but they do say the LED should be shining left and right. Um, and that's my, this is the one I need to repolish and coat because it's old. I'd like to just buy a new one, but they're like 350 bucks, you know, because look how nice that looks. Yeah, you know, this one, some dude ripped the front of my car off and the insurance put a, put a new front clip on. So that looks really nice. So, but anyhow, yeah. So that's how easy these bulbs are to put in. That's the low beam. And then uh, the high beams right there, like I said, put those in. You just put this cover back on. Um, I've seen people that are... Oh, Yeah, this is really easy. Trust me. There we go. What the f a wire sticking out or something? Oh yeah, I do. You can see how there's all kind of space in there though, right? For for the extra parts to just lay in there. There we go. So yeah, just just snaps on like that. And you know LED headlights. Easy peasy. Um, let's see, what else do I want to say about this? Here, let me uh, turn the lights on and show you, like, because I did not upgrade the uh, high beams. Um, I, only, I only upgraded the low beams because, I mean, the high beams work and I'm too cheap to spend another 35 bucks for LED high beams that I hardly ever use anyhow. So, um, probably should at some point upgrade them both, but I didn't, so I can show you right now the difference between the high beam, between the LED and the standard bulb. So let me get it set up and let's check it out. Check it out. Okay, so you can see, can you see? I can see the difference. So there you go, yeah, see, LED, standard. It's just whiter, a whiter light, um, but it definitely, so you can see on the reflection, not really. Well, maybe I'll have to, um, I don't know if you can see the difference between the LED and the, Standard, but you, I mean, they're definitely way brighter. I mean, you can, if the camera's showing it, I won't know until I put this on the computer, but if the camera's showing it, you can see that the LED headlights are way brighter. Um, and when you're going down the road, they uh, shine in the specific area where they're supposed to shine on the road. And then when you turn the high beams on, you can tell that that light is shining higher and farther, you know. So it's not like you're blinding, you probably are blinding people, because all these lights are blinding people. Anyhow, that's another reason why I wanted to make this video now before these become illegal. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention too, is um, these actually say, they don't say it on it anywhere though, and they didn't say it anywhere until I went to check out and pay for them. It said something about fog lights. 
because I think there technically are illegal to put these lights in as headlights. They're fog lights. But I thought this one, whenever I, yeah, because this one says headlight kit. I wonder if that's why they quit selling it, because it says headlight kit. Um, but anyhow, I mean, these are the same bulb, essentially the same bulbs as these. They shine the same kind of light. Um, so, um, yeah, but anyhow, I wanted to mention, you know, at some point, you know, so many people are getting blinded by these things, they're probably going to make them illegal, but um, if you want to upgrade your headlights, uh oh what happened on high beams? Did my high beams just burn out? Why would they be off? Huh, my high beams just quit working. Ooh, my, when you try to flash them, they come on. What the heck? So the bulbs are working. All right, this is real time problems, people. Live drama. <laughs> this is live YouTube drama. So I can flick, you know, my high beams on. But when I turn my high beams on, oh, those are the windshield wipers. <laughs> They don't come on all of a sudden. What the heck? Let me turn my headlights on. Oh, look, when I turn, there, oh, this is an automatic mode, um, which is where I usually just keep my lights automatic. When it gets dark, they turn on. They, their driving lights are on all the time anyhow, so automatic, I mean, it basically just turns the tail lights on when, and marker lights when it gets dark. <clears throat> but, um, huh, that's interesting. When I turn it to on, the high beams work. Maybe I just never noticed that before. In automatic, it knows it's not dark. So it doesn't turn them on. Huh. But I can flash my lights at somebody. Huh. Interesting. All right. I learned something today, YouTube. Got to learn something new every day. Anyhow, let me uh, turn that off. And... Um, Let's see, what else do I want to say about this upgrade, this LED headlamp upgrade? Um, that's about it, I guess. I mean, you do, um, you do get to see, you know, the cranky guys up here. Hello. <laughs> um, it does allow you to see much better. Like, the difference is amazing, you know, when you have these LED headlights, you can see you could just see so much better. It's like, it's like daytime. So, um, I think it's a good upgrade. I did it. I'll, I'm keeping them. Um, like I said, probably I can't imagine it not becoming illegal or maybe just, uh, every vehicle has to have LEDs. That way we're all blinding each other. And at least you could still see cause your lights are as bright as theirs. So, um, yeah, so that's it. It's a real easy upgrade as long as you buy the right bulbs um, that work with the Mercedes CAN bus. I guess Mercedes is one of the more difficult ones to accept LED bulbs or different kind of bulbs. I know the newer cars, you can uh, you can change adjust settings in the car to tell it you have LED headlights. Um, this car that doesn't have that. I have a. Uh, code reader, little code reader thing in an app on my phone. It reads, it's a Bluetooth one. And I looked all through it. There's no settings for, you know, bulb type or anything like that. On this car, um, I don't know if in 2010 they had LED light headlights or not. I don't think so. This car didn't have them. So there's no, there's no setting for that on, on this car. So, um, if your car is newer, you may have that setting. So, you may be able to use any bulb, like you could use those uh, those cheaper Auto One bulbs if you have the setting in your vehicle that allows it to accept LED bulbs. Um, then you could probably use any bulb. 
So maybe that's something to check for. Um, just check and see if you can change the setting if it's a newer car. The 2010 doesn't have that option. So um, yeah, we're forced to just use uh, bulbs that emulate, you know, the old style bulb. And um, that's all. So I mean, it's not really any more expensive um, because it takes a special bulb. It just you got to know which one to buy. So buy, you know, buy that one here. Let me show you. Let me get it. So the the newest ones I got, the ones I got most recently, which seem to be working fine. Well, I'll let you know in a year. Uh, these foreign, F A H R E N. I don't know if you can see that. It's still biting. Um, F A H R E N. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, there you go. Um, these are the Forscher, F O R S H E R. Forscher H7 bulbs. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're working great so far. 5,000 hour lifespan. I beg to differ on that. We'll see how that goes. 5,000 hours. Um, if I get 500 hours, I'll be happy probably because I don't know how much you drive, a, how much is your headlights on in a year? 600 hours a year. The last one's lasted a year, so 600 hours, and they, one of them burnt out. So this one says 5,000 hours. That's a lot more than one year. That's hopefully the lifetime of this car. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. You know, maybe I'll do a, a new video a year from now to see how they're holding up. All right, well, that's it for the LED upgrade. I hope everybody enjoyed that. And, you know, maybe people got something out of that, save some time, money on what bulbs to buy. I hope you all like my golfing shirt. I'm golfing. <laughs> and uh, stay tuned for the next one. All right, have a good one, everybody. See ya.